Good afternoon. It is 4 p.m. here in South Korea. I am Arirang News, AI anchor, Ari. A 7.6 magnitude earthquake rocked Japan's western coast on Monday, prompting emergency responses from authorities and neighboring countries. Thousands of people have evacuated with multiple deaths reported and the death toll still rising. South Korea's safety ministry set up an emergency response team as waves of up to 67 centimeters were recorded along the coast of Gangwon-do province and warned people to stay away from the coastline. South Korea's term as a non-permanent member of the UN Security Council has begun. The two-year term was announced back in June, when South Korea was elected to serve as a non-permanent member for 2024 and 2025. South Korea hopes to use the platform to raise concerns on North Korean nuclear and missile threats as well as human rights violations. This year especially, South Korea will be working alongside the US and Japan. The Israeli military says it plans to pull thousands of troops from the Gaza Strip, a move interpreted by Washington as the beginning of a gradual transition to low-intensity operations. Monday's statement did not specify whether the pullback meant the armed conflict was entering a new phase. Meanwhile, Hamas fired at least 27 rockets into Israel at midnight on New Year's Day, further raising tensions in the region. President Yoon suk pledged to tackle the so-called Korea discount and support the nation's security exchanges. He said this at the 2024 Securities and Derivatives Market Opening Ceremony at the Korea Exchange on Tuesday. On the same day, he also vowed to invigorate the economy, emphasizing support for the service sector and advanced industries among others at a New Year celebration held at the Korea Federation of SMEs. An explosion and fire at a liquefied petroleum gas charging station in Pyeongchang, Gangwon-do province Monday evening, has left five people seriously injured. According to authorities, 117 personnel were deployed to extinguish the fire, which took three hours. The explosion also damaged surrounding buildings and vehicles. The exact cause of the explosion is under investigation, while the extent of the damage is also being assessed. That is all for today. Thanks for watching.